Hey friends, Ryan Dorn here, your global sales coach. Here comes your sales training tip of the week. And that is owning the beginning and owning the end of every sales call. Hey, if you've been doing this like me for 30 years, you recognize that normally the beginning of that sales call is a little awkward, like, hey, did you watch the Olympics last night? Or, hey, did you see the news on this or that? And that can kind of always, it can get a little negative depending on who the person is or what's happening in the world, right? Hey, how's that weather? Okay, so I like to begin every sales call with selling from success. I love to start sales calls with success stories. Hey, Bob, hey, Julie, can I share with you a couple of success stories of customers just like you that we've been helping? Would that be okay? Now, I validate time, I set an agenda, and then I get right into my success stories. Okay, so that takes care of the front of the sales call. Now, how about the end of the sales call? The end, I like to use my one to 10 closing technique. You've heard me talk about it before on the podcast. One to 10. Hey, Bob, you know, thanks for the time today. On a scale of one to 10, one like, eh, you're not really that interested. And 10, you want to give me a check right now. Where are you at? If he says, hey, Ryan, you know, I'm a five. Okay, cool, Bob. How do I get you to a seven? What do I need to do or say or do to kind of get you to a seven? So the beginning and the end of most sales calls are a little awkward. I'd love for you to own the beginning and own the end of the sales call. Start with success stories. End with that one to 10 closing technique. Hey, friends, don't forget. I mean, if sales was easy, everybody be doing it, okay? It's not easy. It's a great job, and you found a career, friends, that'll feed your families for a lifetime. Hey, if I can be of help to you, speak at your conferences, for your national sales meeting, whatever, reach out to me, ryan at ryandorn.com.